Welcome to Real Magic Magazine. In this issue of Real Magic Magazine, John Armstrong is mucking around with some gambling moves. Now, the races. Garrett Thomas shows you a better way to practice the top change. So there's many moments that you could do the move, and you'll just, because of the practice you do, you'll be able to go there. And Simon Lovell wants you to practice perfectly. I love to practice my magic to make it as good as I can. And David Kay talks about you see, I don't. I and mean, this has been happening for 300 years. David Regal shows us a few tricks that would make a great Christmas gift. And well, sometimes you get what you want. Sometimes you don't. And when you don't, well, then it's time to buy something for yourself. Wayne Kawamoto talks with Wayne Dobson about how MS has affected his approach to magic. I'm not just saying it because I had to, but I became a better magical thinker. And we've got part two of our interview with Daniel Garcia. He talks about working with David Blaine. And David, uh, he says, look, I want to do this trick, and he tells me this trick, this effect. And he says, how would you do it? And so, I mean, the first thing that came to my mind, I said, oh, well, I would do this. And I drew a sketch down. And I remember David looks at the paper, and he, and he hits the paper with his finger. He goes, and that's why he's Danny freaking Garcia. <laughs> and so I, like me, like, that was like a humbling thing, you know what I mean? I was like, Jesus, come on, man. As if this wasn't enough, we have a new guest columnist, coin maker Roy Coopers, who tells you how to repair a bent shell. And for anybody that's spent a lot of money on a shell set, this is very upsetting. But wait, there's more. In every issue, we have three tricks and three moves for you to learn. All for ten bucks. It's the best deal in magic today. So let the experience happen. Real Magic Magazine. Television for magicians.